Well, today is finally the day. We have powder coat back on the Sportster. So that means we can start putting it together finally. After two years of building this thing, it's finally time. So let's get to it. Damn it. Uh, so first things first, this is our frame. All done up. Um, uh, powder came out really nice. Uh, it's called Gold Tastic, and it is very gold. But I think it's going to work well with the motor and especially our tank, which we'll put that together in a little bit. Uh, that's the rear end of the Ford, which, uh, as you see, it got some love. Uh, finally working on that thing. Uh, the rear end is finally complete uh, as far as suspension setup. Uh, I got to do a little more welding on some plates and it'll be done and you'll see that upcoming. But today we're going to focus on this thing. I want to try and get it together. Um, for the most part, I want to get the motor in and uh, the front end tins and stuff. I'm going to leave the tank till last because I don't want to scratch it. The fact that I haven't scratched that thing yet is, to be perfectly honest, I'm amazed by it. Uh, it does have one scratch on it. Uh, very lightly which will polish out but for the most part um, it's unscathed which it's been sitting in my garage for two years uh, well a year and a half something like that anyway all right enough rambling uh, I gotta figure out how to set the motor back up uh, how we took it out so I can put the frame in so let's get to it motors in uh, bought me pretty hard because um, I took this plug out and put it where the pressure sensor went and I forgot that I put that angle in there so that was hitting the frame so that kind of 
it made a little mark there but it's okay um and they're damn clear or a powder up here which i think i can buff this out um and get this off i hit there but other than that it's in so get the rest of this in we'll get the oil tank on um put the cover on it that way we can see uh big thing i want to get the fender on because we might go uh we might paint the fender the white pearl that matches the tank but i want to get it on first and see how it looks and then go from there So that's where we're at so far. Uh, I need to get different hardware. I need to either cut these off because uh, they're too long or get some shorter bolts. Um, same with under here, I gotta get different bolts. I need to get some button heads. Um, so we don't have to worry about the tire hitting that. Um, same here, more hardware. All right, I was just using what I had around here. These need to be longer, these need to be shorter. So probably gonna flip flop these. Um, anyway, but good start here. Uh, seats on everything's good to go that gold tastic matches really well with the brass so if you're ever wondering what color you should do if you're doing brass accents or anything like that it's called gold tastic um, but yeah i think so far we're doing really well got our tail light on here uh, that we made looking pretty snazzy uh, probably as far as I'm going to go for now, so the rear wheel, uh, we're going to polish this up and then get that on. Um, but the other thing is, is the wiring, so i got to figure out, because the key switch is going to go here, and then i got to figure out my wiring um, and that sort of thing. So, uh, and I need to order neck bearings. Uh, I actually forgot about them until right now. So. But that's gonna do it for now. All right, so we got some parts in. I got we got new neck bearings. I already put the races in. Uh, I gotta put the bottom bearing. I gotta press that on. Um, but we cleaned up our rear wheel. Uh, if you saw this thing before, it was it's kind of gross, honestly. Uh, it cleaned up pretty good. Um, some quad zero steel wool cleaned her up pretty nice. All right, so that'll work out well. Brand new hardware. For all that stuff um so the rear wheel is good to go put new seals on it also uh new wheel seals uh, i almost feel like that needs another one anyway that's how it was so we're gonna get that on and then put our front end on and then uh rear wheel kickstand and it'll be a roller again so let's get to it
All right, got that on. Just need to get gas tank on, controls, and for the most part, it's assembled. So, um, yeah. Oh, I gotta finish the exhaust too. So, um, it's this close. All right, there we go. Tank is on, bars are on. Um, whether we stay with the gold bars, I honestly don't know. Don't mind them. I feel like they probably should be chrome. I don't know. It does break it up, but that is a lot of gold. But love the tank. I'm really happy that we did gold fern with that. Um, it really must have pop. All right, well. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, still have a lot more to do. Got to wire it. Uh, got to plumb it. Finish our exhaust, which the exhaust is done. I got to weld up those two mount tabs that I put on there. And then that will be on there. Um, and then just little details like cables and brake lines and all that crap. Uh, but hopefully on the next video we can start it. This thing, like I said, was rebuilt two years ago. Uh, hopefully uh dude knows what he's doing and uh we're gonna find out so that's gonna do it for now stay tuned and take care